The Cannes Film Festival is back for 2023, once again returning with all the glitz and glamour associated with the annual celebration of fashion and film. This is Luxury Prima. In this video, we'll show you lots of head-turning fashion on the French Riviera, so stay tuned. As one might expect from a pack of A-list celebrities attending a star-studded festival in a particularly glamorous location, there were lots of gowns and tuxedos. But in contrast to the Oscars or other award ceremonies, there were many daytime events at Cannes, which gave many festival attendees repeated chances to dress up and take style risks, some of which were more successful than others. Here are 18 looks that stood out more than most. Helen Mirren, Most Blue Crush to match her cornflower blue Delcor gown and her nails, the actress wore blue streaks in her wavy silver hair, the colors of which recalled a frothing ocean. The taffeta blue dress featured two of Mirren's favorite styles, an off-the-shoulder design and a plunging neckline. Just like her 2019 Cannes Film Festival outing, the actor took her daring style up a notch by coordinating the color of her gown with her hair, which she kept in a curled updo. L Fanning Most Antique Silverware the actress's metallic Pacaro band dress was suspended by what looked suspiciously like a piece of cutlery and had a skirt that looked as though it could cut someone who came too close. When the L'Oreal ambassador posted this Pacaro band fall of 2023 dress on Instagram, she said, Now this is a party dress. The brand ambassador for Pacaro band's fame fragrance served up a heavy dose of shine for her disco fever. This silver mini dress is defined by the metal flowers on the bust and neck piece halter, which almost feels medieval inspired, from which the dress was suspended. Fan Bing Bing, most scenic. Printed on the actress's Christopher Bu gown was a design featuring a roaring tiger in a bamboo forest that extended onto the dress's train. Fawn also wore emerald earrings and a ring. Fawn did her hair with a middle part and did a Xin Ya style updo in the back for an elegant pinup effect. Viola Davis, Most Volume A towering afro and a colossal ostrich feather stole punched up the actress's otherwise simple Valentino dress. Davis's dress featured a crystallized floral applique at the shoulder, while her outerwear included sparkling strands of silver tinsel. The Oscar-winning actress accessorized with diamond shoppered hoops and white platform heels. Celebrity stylist Elizabeth Stewart put together Davis's stunning ensemble. Stewart's other A-list clientele includes Amanda Seyfried, Elizabeth Olsen, and Jessica Chastain. Troy Sivan, Most Negative Space The singer's ensemble of Valentino shorts, shoulder-bearing shirt, and tight vents a new definition of business casual. Sivan wore a custom look by Valentino that included a billowy white shirt and matching tie with colder shoulder cutouts, cold black schoolboy shorts, and a pair of square-toed boots with stunning details. The grunge meets corporate ensemble, styled by Mark Forn, got a helpful dose of personality through the star's recent at-home haircut, which he playfully documented on Instagram, which includes burnt yellow highlights and unfussy bangs. It all culminates in a fresh take on upscale menswear dressing. Ramata Tolaisi, Most Power Glam Amidst the many penguin suits at Cannes, the director's wide leg multicolored Chanel pantsuit was a sartorial unicorn. The Senegalese film director wore a suit from the Chanel Prefall 2023 collection. Female directors tend to wear a suit to either set themselves apart from the stars of the film or to present a look that suggests leadership and authority. Ramata Tulee looks chic, modern, and stylish in her fun, colorfully suit. Natalie Portman, Most Jackie O In oversized cat-eye sunglasses and a belted Dior mini dress and matching jacket, the actress brought a dose of the former first lady's style to La Crusette. The actress always looks chic and elegant, whether she's walking the red carpet in a shimmering Dior gown or spotted off duty in timeless black tailoring. And this year's film festival has been no exception. Jose Condesa, Jason Fernandez, and Manu Rios, most triple threat. It seemed impossible that the trio of actors in Strange Way of Life, a queer western directed by Pedro Almodovar, did not plan their three peekaboo Saint Laurent looks in advance. Lily Gladstone, most in bloom. An understated hairstyle toned down the drama of the actress's floral Valentino cape dress and three-tiered earrings by Jamie Okuma, a native American designer. Dua Lipa, most accessorized. 
All eyes were on Dua Lipa when she made her red carpet debut at the 2023 Cannes Film Festival. The singer paired her sleek, one-shoulder Celine dress with accessories that included jewelry, tattoos, and her reported boyfriend, the filmmaker Roman Gavris. For the event, he coordinated with the singer in a classic black suit and tie. Roda Mohammed, most smoldering. The model set the carpet ablaze in a Robert Wound gown covered in what appeared to be burn marks. Over her head was a tattered veil that matched the distressed dress. Lily Rose Depp, most dressing her age, or almost her age. The 24-year-old actress's sequined Chanel mini dress is from 1994, making it a few years older than her. The Chanel mini dress is from the brand's fall 1994 ready-to-wear collection which featured a blue and teal rose rosette in the center and a black sequin base. The actress paired her ensemble with sheer opera gloves, black opaque tights, and classic black pumps. Alton Mason, most snatched. Look behind the model's glove hands, and you will notice the hourglass silhouette of his double-breasted Balenciaga suit jacket, which was tapered sharply at the waist. Scarlett Johansson most Trump Loy. With the contrasting white top and straps, the actress's pink Prada sheath dress gave the illusion of an exposed bra. Styled by Kate Young, the star finished her look with a metallic silver pumps. For makeup, the actress brought her dainty glamorous look home with scarlet red lipstick, which she often embraces at red carpet events. Jenny Kim, most I do. The Blackpink member was a vision in white, specifically a Chanel bridal gown made slightly less sweet by black tulle poking out from the bodice. The knee-length dress features a skirt and bodice of white lace with a tulle underlay, allowing for an adorable vintage silhouette. The corseted torso provided a structure to the gown and highlighted her svelte frame. Jenny opted to wear the black tulle sleeves off her shoulders to lend a classic old Hollywood touch. Orlando Bloom, most painterly. The green and blue streaks down the actor's pale Paul Smith suit were a risk, as were the chunky soles on his matching shoes. Lona Chernobyl, most on message. As the Ukrainian influencer ascended the festival's red carpeted stairs wearing a blue and yellow gown, the colors of the Ukrainian flag, she popped balloons filled with a red liquid on her head. Those who witnessed her fashion statement included security personnel, who escorted her off the carpet soon after. Mary Cotillard, most Coachella. Her tweed Chanel sweater set and pig bleach jorts were textbook festival style. Music festival style, that is. She wore a tweed jacket with large pockets, cinched at the waist, adorned with sparking jewelry and diamond-encrusted high-heeled sandals. It was an unconventional red carpet look that once again challenged the norms of Cannes fashion. What fashion attire will you adorn when you attend the prestigious film festival? Let us know in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content.